Hello friends, I'm delighted to welcome you to this brief introduction to data analytics and CATS. CATS refers to Computer Assisted Audit Tools and Techniques. I'm C. Abdul Rafiq, Managing Director of Windsor Infotech Limited. This is the first video. The second video will provide you a overview of data analytics using eCAT and the subsequent videos will provide demos of various functions of data analytics. We are living in an increasingly digitized world where all the transactions, the business processes are completely digitized. Information is available in a digital format. When the digital data is in such abundance, the information is not really available as required. So we are flooded with data but starving for information. So it's important to know how to access and analyze this data, especially from the perspective of audit, as the need for audit in a digital environment definitely remains and the need for evaluating the controls increases. So the biggest challenge for the auditors is, what is the key to access this digital data? How to audit this digital data? This is the place where data analytics plays an important role. We know that data is everywhere and if we adopt the manual approach to audit digital data, it is a big challenge because we cannot adopt this approach. Because the manual approach audit tasks become tedious, cumbersome and time consuming and they are completely irrelevant. So we need to discover data analytics and learn the skills of data analytics. Let's look at some of the key questions pertaining to data analytics. Why do we need to use data analytics? The age old methodologies cannot be applied to new age technologies. As auditors, we need to upgrade our skill sets, methodologies to be in tune with the new age technologies. Who can use data analytics? Data analytics is applicable wherever there are new digital platforms and new business models, which are requires new perspectives or audit. The controls which need to be audited get embedded inside technology. So it has become pertinent to understand how the controls are inbuilt inside the technology to be able to access and analyze this technology. This is where data analytics plays an important role. How can we use data analytics and what is the use of data analytics? Data analytics can provide practical actionable insights so that we can add value to the business. We can access and analyze 100% of the data. It's possible to audit 100% of the data if we know how to use data analytics. When do we need to upgrade the skill sets of data analytics? The time is now because if we want to remain relevant in this digital era and move into new orbit in our personal career, we need to learn the skill set of data analytics. Data analytics quite often has esoteric concepts that it is a very high end software and it cannot be used by the common auditor and very, the audit software is very expensive. Let me dispel this myth by saying that even Excel can be considered as a data analytics software. It has limited functionalities for doing data analytics, but it can be used. There are also general audit software which are added for Excel with specific CAD functions. You also have general audit software which are data analytics software primarily designed with the perspective of CAT. There are also application software which has specific standard and ad hoc reporting and query features which can be used by the auditors for the purpose of data analytics to access and analyze the information as required. There are also specialized audit software. These are specific audit software which are developed and designed for specific application software. For example, in the case of Finical, you may have a special audit software which can be used for auditing Finical. So let's look at where we can use data analytics. Any digital data from any platform, from any software that is auditable is a potential candidate for using data analytics, which means any digital data can be audited. Now the question is, for a structured data, there are different ways of auditing. For unstructured data, there are different ways of auditing. Let's look at what are the type of questions which can be analyzed or answered through data analytics. <clears throat> the information or the data could be related to the past, the present or the future. When the data is related to the past, 
we can analyze the data to check what has happened and how many times did it happen, how often did it happen, where did it happen and that's what we call as hindsight. We can also get insights with the current data to understand where is the problem, to perform a root cause analysis and decide what are the action which is to be taken and also analyze why is this happening. We can also use data of the past and the present to predict the future and this is where for foresight comes into the picture. Looking at the way the business has performed in terms of sales or purchases or expenses, we can decide what will happen to the entity if these trends continue and we can also predict what will happen next. So using data analytics, we can analyze the past, we can analyze the present and we can also predict the future. So when the data is in abundance, what is important is we should know how to use the relevant tools and techniques to provide actionable insights to the management. This is where the 3i comes in. The fundamental purpose of data analytics is to infer insights from information. So analytics has to be everywhere when data is everywhere. Let's look at some of the key benefits of using data analytics. There are seven key benefits. I'm not going to get into the details. Just let me highlight some of them. The primary differentiator is that you will be able to enhance your skills and tools and increase the productivity of your team and also ensure that you get able to get more value out of your time. You will also become a thought leader by using data analytics because you can audit complex environment from which the data can be gathered for analysis. The bottom line is you can do more in less time using data analytics because you can audit 100% of the data using the technology itself as your tool. Let's understand what are the essential steps for data analytics. You'll find that many of the steps which are given here, you might be already following. Let me distinguish the key difference in using data analytics. For any audit assignment, we need to first identify and document the scope and objective of the assignment, which remains in even in the case of using CATS. We need to identify what is the information which will be required. In the case of a manual environment, we look at the records, files and registers. Whereas in the case of a digital environment, we need to look at what is the digital format in which the data is available. We need to review the data to understand what each column in the file represents and how it might be relevant in performing the audit. We also need to review and curate the data because the data may not be available in the format which you want. We need to structure the data by formatting the data so that we can use it and make it ready for analysis. We need to ensure the correctness and completion of the data for which we need to confirm that the data is complete by comparing statistics from the data analytics software and also from the original source of data. We also need to understand the business process and how the controls are embedded or integrated inside the technology. We need to identify and document the audit test to be performed and the functions of data analytics software which can be used for the specific audit. Once we have got an idea about this and we have documented this, we need to perform the audit test using the data analytics software and the manual procedures as relevant, analyze our findings and prepare the report. To summarize the discussion we had so far, if we have to provide assurance using CATS, the key factors are we have to understand the business processes and the relevant controls. We need to understand the regulatory requirements and the compliance requirements. We need to understand the organization structure in terms of the authorization limits, the segregation duties. We need to understand how technology is deployed and what are the risks of control, uh, risks and the controls related to the technology. And we can use relevant data analytics or CATS as required for the purpose of the assignment to meet the scope and objectives of the assignment. Let's take an example of a financial statement audit. These are the seven key controls we will evaluate. These are also called as the financial statement assertions. In any financial audit, we want to verify and validate the completeness of the data, the accuracy of the data, the validity, whether the authorizations have been properly complied with as per the organization's policy, whether the segregation duties have been done as per the organization's policies and procedures, whether the information is processed correctly and presented and disclosed as per the legal and compliance requirements and whether the cutoff concept is followed in ensuring that only the transactions of the relevant period have been recorded and proce processed and presented. 
all these seven key controls can be reviewed and evaluated through data analytics or cats which means we can use cats for testing any or all of these controls which are embedded inside technology so it's important to remember when you are doing data analytics it's not about the data that the enterprise have or you have it's about the data that you want for the purpose of meeting the audit objectives cats can help you to access and analyze the data as per the scope and objectives of the audit although i have primarily identified auditors as the audience for the purpose of using cats cats can be used by three different audience one the auditors to find answers to the audit questions second the fraud investigators to identify the possibilities of fraud and third by the management themselves to understand how they can better manage the business by using and analyzing the information which is available in a digital format to conclude cats empower professionals to exploit their expertise you can build up on your core competencies and skill sets and create new possibilities of adding value so it's important as professionals we need to invest and explore the future using cats if you got any questions you may please email me at rafik@wincat.com the fundamental question which i would like you to leave is when enterprises are using technology to run the business at speed as auditors we should also learn how to use the same technology to access and analyze this information so that we can provide value addition to our clients to our various assignments this is the first video you can also see the next video where i'll give you a overall perspective of ecat which is the data analytics software thank you very much look forward to seeing you in the next videos